Unilawing Positivi must sell general paper questions. This question says, Random sampling is connected more with dash. Option A, mathematics. Option B, additional mathematics. Option C, algebra. Option D, statistics. And the correct answer to this question is option D, statistics. Random sampling is one of the simplest forms of collecting data from the total population. And as you may know before now, collection and analyzing of numerical data is what statistics is all about. In random sampling, each member of the population has an equal chance of being selected as subject. The entire process of sampling is done in a single step with each subject selected independently of the other members of the population. So the correct answer is statistics. Uni Lauren Positemi most failed general paper questions. This question says FM in radio operation means option A, far medium transmission, option B, mega frequency transmission, option C, modulated frequency transmission, option D, modern frequency transmission. And the correct answer to this question is option C, modulated frequency transmission. FM denotes frequency modulation, which uses a change in frequency to encode information. Modulation is the variation of some property of the radio carrier in a manner that conveys information. So the answer is option C. Uni Lauren Positemi must fill general paper questions. This question says two digit percentage inflation means option A less than two decimal places, option B from 10 to 99, option C more than two decimal places, option D above 20. And the correct answer to this question is option B from 10 to 99. Two digit percentage inflation means an increase in prices at the rate between 10% and 99%. Now, as you already know, a double digit number is between 10 and 99. So, option B is the correct answer. Uni Lauren Positemi most fail general paper questions. This question says the expression 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8 can be expressed as option A, quadruple 2, option B, triple 2. Option C, cubic 2. Option D, thrice 2. The correct answer to this question is option C, cubic 2. In mathematics, when a number is raised to the power of 3, let's say x raised to the power of 3, it is called x cubed. And so, cubic 2 is the correct answer. Well, let's try to go through the other options for clarity's sake. Quadruple 2 is out of the question because quadruple means 4. Triple 2 is not a term used mathematically, so that is also not correct. Trice 2 is also not a term used mathematically, so the correct answer is cubic 2. Uni Lauren Positemi most fail general paper questions. This question says, a 3x3 three three bedroom flat in Abuja cost 1 million naira per annum. The same flat in Ilorin, the Para State capital, will cost dash. Option A, much less than 1 million naira. Option B, exactly the same amount. Option C, 0 0.5 million naira. Option D, about 700,000 naira. And the correct answer to this question is option A, that is much less than 1 million naira. And this is because of the location of the flat. Abuja is the federal capital territory, and so it is a very well recognized and important part of the country. So, and so things are expected to be much costlier there. 
Unilorin positemi must fill general paper questions. This question says seconds, minutes, hours are units with definite convert fraction. Which of the following is not? Option A inch, feet, yard. Option B naira, dollar, pound. Option C centimeter, meter, kilometer. Option D centigrade, Fahrenheit, and Celsius. And the correct answer to this question is option B naira, dollar, pound. And this is because all the options apart from option B have a constant conversion value. Naira, dollars, and pounds do not have a constant value because it varies with time. Depending on several factors, the value of these currencies can change at any time. So the answer is B. Unilorin Positemi must fill general paper questions. This question says, write in full the number 106. Option A, 160. Option B, 1 and 6. Option C, 106. Option D, 160. The correct answer to this question is 106. This number is called, is pronounced 106. And so this is the correct answer. Unilorin Lauren Positemi must fill general paper questions. This question says, I am 10 years old and my sister is 4. In how many years shall I be twice as old as she will be? Option A, 3. Option B, 4. Option C, 2. Option D, 5. Let's try to work this out together to arrive at our correct answer. So let's say that X is 10 years, X's sister, we can call her Y, is 4 years. So in the next year, X will be 11 years and Y will be 5 years. So this is year 1. In the following year, X will be 12 years and y will be 6 years. This is year 2. So we can see that 6 is half of 12. And so here, x is as twice as old as y is. And so the correct answer is 2. Let's check our options to see if we have this amongst the options. So we can see that option C is 2. And so this means that option C is the correct answer. Yeni Lauren Positemi must fill general paper questions. This question says, Bola had fewer sums right than Ojo. Ojo had fewer sums right than Dele. Which had the most right answers? Option A, Bola. Option B, Ojo and Bola. Option C, Dele. Option D, Bola and Dele. And from the question, we are told that Ojo had fewer sums right than Dele. And so this means that Dele had more sums right than Ojo. We are also told from the question that Bola had fewer sums right than Ojo. And so this means that Ojo had more sums right than Bola. And so from this explanation, we can see that Dili had more sons right than Ojo, and Ojo had more sons right than Bola. So this means that Dili had more sons right than Ojo and Bola. And so Dili had the most right answers. Let's also try to represent this mathematically to see how it would look. From the question, we are told that Bola had fewer sons right than Ojo. So this means... Bola less than Ojo. And also we are told that Ojo had fewer sums right than Dele. So this means Ojo less than Dele. 
This can also be written as Dele greater than Ojo greater than Bola. So as you can see, Dele is greater than both Ojo and Bola. And so the correct answer to this question is option C, Dele. Unilorin Positemi must fill general paper questions. This question says, my holiday starts in six days time. Yesterday was my birthday, Friday, June 23rd. On which day of the week will my holiday start? Option A, Friday, June 30th. Option B, Wednesday, 30th June. Option C, Tuesday, 29th June. Option D, Saturday, 26th July. From the question, we are told that yesterday was Friday, June 23rd, which was my birthday. And today, and so this means that today is Saturday, 24th June. So six days from 24th of June will be Sunday, 25th June, Monday, 26th June, Tuesday, 27th June, Wednesday, 28th June, Thursday, 29th June, and Friday, 30th June. You can, we can count this out to be sure. And so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 6 days after 24th of June. So the correct answer to this question is Friday, June 30th. 